Well, I don't like the relationship between my husband and his work wife, and neither does her partner. I'm a beautician, 35 female, married to an engineer, 34 male. He's very intelligent, and I'm always proud of him. He has a colleague who's also very intelligent, female 31, obviously that he's close to. Before the events that lead me to this moment of seeking help online, I never had any reason to be uncomfortable about his relationship with her. I always felt secure in our relationship. We're both independent people who would just leave it if we weren't happy together. We've been together for five years, married for almost two. My husband and I were on our three-day trip with my husband's colleagues, a tradition at his work every autumn. We came home yesterday morning. I had a bad taste in my mouth after this trip. It felt like me and the colleague's partner, male 35-ish, were the third wheel and fourth wheel to my husband and his colleague during the entire trip. During dinner the second night, I was sitting silently playing with my food, almost two days of being ignored. The partner was also silent at first, but we started talking a bit, asking each other generic questions. The colleague, who was in a very loud argument with my husband, more of a back and forth teasing, suddenly turned around and asked what we two were talking about so quietly. Her partner said that we were just getting to know each other since they, husband and colleague, were too busy talking about things we knew nothing about. The colleague laughed and said, what could we discuss with you, makeup and Kim Kardashian? <laughs> and she nodded towards me. We have more intelligent things to discuss, she says. I was dumbfounded. I guess because I'm a beautician, I can only discuss Kim Kardashian. I mean, any outsider to any profession would be dumb, listening into two people discussing work-related subjects. They could have been as ignorant if I was talking to my coworkers about our job. My husband just laughed and the partner said, well, that's rude. I said nothing because I had distaste for the whole situation. On the last day of the trip, I spent most of my time with the partner. I ignored the other two. Yesterday evening, the partner direct messaged me and wanted to talk about our significant others. He said that he's been feeling uncomfortable about his girlfriend's relationship with my husband and that he went through her messages. Guys, he sent me screenshots where my husband and his colleague are basically calling me stupid and shallow and just laugh about it, LOL. Well, mostly the colleague saying mean things and my husband just laughing and adding in sometimes. He would say something like, No, I love her, and she would answer, You only like her because she's hot. And then they both laugh. When the texts aren't about my stupidity, they're about work, and in one of them, my husband wrote, I love your brain. I started crying when I saw the screenshots. Never have I ever felt so self-conscious about my brain or profession. I love my job, and I thought my husband loved it too, or at least didn't have this disdain for it. I've been my own boss for over a decade. I make close to six figures. I never thought myself was a dumb person. I like to think that I'm fairly well informed and I have a passion for history, languages, cultures, etc. But yes, I'm not an engineer working on some design for artificial hearts. Sorry. Still, the text complimenting the colleague hurt me more than the ones making fun of me. I just don't know why. I think my husband and his colleague are out of line and best... Well, they're probably screwing. I still don't know what to do. The last thing I want to be is insecure little wife. If he isn't happy with me, why is he here? Well, guys, Mr. Redito here. It seems we found ourselves in one heck of a work drama. I do have an update for this post. It came out just a few days after the original post. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Here's your update. So... Sorry I didn't come back earlier to make an update. I was mentally exhausted and, of course, busy discussing Kim Kardashian. Anyways, I want to apologize for not answering your messages. I've talked to my husband. I just told him that I've talked to work wife's boyfriend and showed him the messages I sent. My husband asked why her boyfriend was spying on his girlfriend, and I told him that it was because he didn't like the way things went down on the trip. I told him how I was too very uncomfortable. He was confused and told me that the work wife obviously was jealous and that I should not care about her. I told him that she did not bother as much as the fact that he was fine. No, 
amused by her attempts to bring me down the entire time. So much, in fact, that her boyfriend was uncomfortable that he went through her phone. I also asked him why he was letting her trash talk me in their text messages. Again, he insisted that he just felt she was petty and jealous and did not want to stoop to her level. He said that I did the same when I ignored her rudeness, and he thought that that was the classy thing to do. I asked him why she was doing this, was there anything between them, and to please tell me now before it gets more complicated. He said, of course not. And if there was something from her end, then it wasn't his problem because he loved me, so on and so forth. I asked him about him loving her brain. He said it was strictly about something work-related and offered to show me the convo. Next day, I was still brooding. So, he came to me, kissed me, and apologized and told me that I was right, that he was just being stupid, but that he never thought about it as disrespectful but some female jealousy that he thought was pitiful and beneath him. He promised to do better. I told him that if somebody was trashing you like this in front of me, no matter how petty the reasons were or how pathetic I thought they were, I would have hated them and never wanted them in my life. Unfortunately, I started crying then and there, and he told me that he was so sorry. Well, that was on Sunday. Yesterday, the boyfriend called me again and we talked. We had decided to talk after confronting our significant others. Their conversation was worse and work wife admitted to her boyfriend that she had feelings for my husband and she suspected that my husband had feelings for her too. They've kissed at the summer work party. I showed my husband the screenshot when he got home and he started to freak out, telling me yes, she did kiss him and he rebuffed her and told her that he wasn't interested. That was when she got nastier towards me. So, you know, she had a thing for you. And he said yes. I asked him to show me his phone and he deleted his conversation. How convenient. He said it was because he was so embarrassed. He did not tell me when the kiss happened and now he was afraid I would think it was more than what it was. I asked him to move out. He's currently at his mother's. He keeps saying that there's nothing between them that he loves me and would never cheat on me. That. He'll make her come clean to me that he'll quit his job and never see her again. I'm just so heartbroken right now and all I want to do is cry. Well, thanks for listening. Update number two. Hi, I don't feel comfortable making a new update on this sub because honestly I'm embarrassed that I'm taking so much of your attention. My husband showed up at my work today. He said that he's never felt so scared in his life like when he realized that he was losing me. He's contacted the boyfriend, apologized to him, and asked him to forward all the texts between him and his work wife. He printed them, gave me everything. Over a year's worth of text messages. He told me when we work, wife confessed to her boyfriend. She sent the text about admitting the kiss to her boyfriend, the text I got a screenshot of. My husband panicked and deleted the whole conversation, but now he has everything from the boyfriend and I can read it. He also brought with him a picture of him when he was young, maybe 12 or 13 with a girl. He said he searched this picture now that he's living with his mom. He told me that it was his favorite cousin and, well, she committed suicide when they were 16. She was bullied. I never heard my husband talk about his cousin. I know of her from his family, but never that they were close or that her death devastated him. He said that he still wasn't ready to discuss her, but that now he needed to. He admitted that when his work wife started working for them in August of 2021, he immediately bonded with her because she reminded him of his cousin. Both goofy, funny, extremely intelligent, you name it. They even looked a lot alike, which is kind of true. The bond got stronger when work wife told him about her tough childhood and how she was bullied through school, how she suffered. My husband said that he felt like he got his cousin back. Work wife knew that my husband was married and it did not seem to be a problem for her in the beginning. He admitted that he sensed that she was falling for him every very much second, but that he never really confronted her about it because he didn't want to hurt her feelings. When she saw me in a picture, she got very angry with him and said that she was very disappointed in him. I looked the type that would bully people like her and my husband in high school. She was disappointed and asked him what he saw in me. 
He told her that he loved me, but she was sour afterwards, accusing him of being shallow. He asked her to give me a chance at the Christmas party. She did not change her opinion, however. He wasn't bothered that she disliked me because he thought that she was just jealous. He knew that she was deciding on not giving me a chance and that was fine with him. He thought that this will be one of those things that we'll have to disagree on. He's still adamant that he never kissed her back and he's adamant about getting the recording of that party. He said he pushed her and after the party he had a fight with her about boundaries and confronted her about her feelings. He told her that they could no longer be friends now that she's crossed this line. We went on a five-week vacation the day after the party and he said that if I read the text from that time on, I would find that she's apologized several times, asking for forgiveness, begging him not to ditch her as a friend. After summer, the relationship was strained, but they eventually became closer. He said he doesn't know why he felt like she needed him in her life. She needed his protection. He always thought about being put in harm's way and he couldn't stand the thought of it. He swore it was never romantic. He admitted that he loves her like a friend or like his cousin if she was still around. He told me that he's handed in his resignation notice and will be seeking a new job. He's realized that he has to let his work wife go. He admitted that he even now is worried about her. She's losing both her boyfriend and him, but that he needs to remind himself that she's a grown woman, not his 16-year-old cousin. She'll be fine. And about my fears that he loves me for how I look, he said that he's sorry if he ever made me feel that way and that it's far from the truth. When he thinks about us, he sees us growing old together and that prospect fills his heart with more love and joy than you could ever imagine. Okay guys, so I have something that the husband basically said that was contradictive to what he said originally. Let's read it. Husband, has a cousin who was bullied to suicide. Also, husband is totally fine with his co-worker bullying his wife. So there's the contradiction, and comment two says this. Well, that especially. I don't think I could ever get over it. That would plague my mind. Why am I the exception? Why did he seemingly state that bullying was more acceptable if it's because of a petty woman's feelings? Something that seems wildly sexist by itself downplaying someone else's feelings as less than or petty, excusable even, just because it's womanly jealousy. I'd be questioning a lot of things about him, but most of all, what does he think is different about me? That means I'm free to be bullied by other people relentlessly. Does he really think it's okay to wound me so deeply, so long as it's a petty woman? doing the wounding. Guys, let me know what you think about that statement. Drop it down below. Is this husband a two-timing piece of crap, red flag, no good, toxic, vile excuse of a human? Let me know what you think. Guys, thank you so much for joining in. I hope you have an amazing day. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll be here every day dropping stories. I'll see you then.